So this is the uh, next one. If you named it, it would be called, this would be Montgomery. Uh, um, I work with a fella who uh, resets necks and I uh, refret his guitars and he resets the necks on mine. So this guitar has came to me with a slightly bowed neck. So we pull the frets and leveled the neck so it's flat plus or minus two thousandths. Now we're putting an arch on it. We have to complete the arch, a slight arch. There's reasons for that. This is a plastic lid that keeps the crap out of the inside. I put the bridge on. This is the shadow from the original tailpiece. And all this is going to be worked, but the top itself is in great shape. This thing's 100 years old. I believe it was made in Chicago. There's a line in Healy brand called Jupiter. There's one of these that with the Jupiter stamp in it. Um, this one has a stamp that says Montgomery Ward, Chicago. So, anyway, taking the back off. Because <clears throat> uh, the back was coming off anyway, and it needed uh, work. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh yeah, it's x brace. Uh, took the back off and um, <clears throat> made sure the top was flat. I've rebraced it with x bracing, and uh, put the. Also, we removed the neck and reset the neck. Now, as far as who made this, I'm just saying it's probably Regal. It was made in Chicago, almost guaranteed. Possibly New Jersey, possibly Oscar Schmidt. The one main clue is that this has what looks like an arrow here on the, looks like an, an arrow right here in the dovetail block. Well, it's the dovetail block that was sawn. It's the, the two lines, and when you, when you do that at the very bottom, you get, so you get a perfect triangle, looks like an ice cream cone. Um, Plus the binding itself. This binding is actually uh, black, green. Um, anyway, it's a it's multiple colors. This subtle color is actually a green that's uh, faded over the years. We'll be putting in pearl dots. So next, what we have to do is. This piece was shot. This is I replaced this piece right here. Um, this whole thing was chewed, just been chewed from a hundred years worth of sitting down on this edge, for example, where we're sitting down on this edge, and uh, just general wear and tear. So. The back has been removed and replaced, so some of this little like this little line here is fresh. Anyway, we're going to replace the missing wood all the way around here with the hot process. This piece is just worn away, just worn away. It's going to get replaced when I'm done. You won't be able to tell. The finish is really bad right here. I want to keep this is birch that's got a faux uh, walnut. Looks like walnut, but it isn't. It's this birch, the original back birch, is a gray, brown, tan gray. This birch is typical harmony birch. Let's see. All right. So the back needs a lot of work. Uh, sides are good. We'll do some work on the finish. It's actually got binding. Um, we're going.
going to finish the arch and refret this and dye it a dark brown. Back here, there's two bad alleys in here. The finish is gouged. It's like cigarettes were here or something. Anyway, this is going to get smooth and there'll be a faux rosewood finish on here that looks like a cap. Um, so, we'll be working on this guitar for the next week until it's uh, playable.